Hey everybody, it's Jeremy Osterberger. We're here in Beaumont at the ExxonMobil Beaumont Refinery and I'm joined by Rosanna Dendy. She is refinery manager here at Exxon Beaumont. Rosanna, thank you so much for make, making time for us. Absolutely, thank you for having us here to be able to talk about the Beaumont Refinery expansion and bring it on increased diesel supply. That's right, so we're talking Blade, Beaumont Light Atmospheric Distillation Expansion. Expansion, a lot of folks have heard about this project. Started in 2019. Rosina, tell us where we're at with the project. Yeah, so we're very excited to be able to bring on the Beaumont Refinery Expansion, locally known here as Blade, here in the first quarter of 23. It's bringing on 250,000 barrels a day of additional crude capacity. And this is inside of a refinery that we're already maximizing production of our 366,000 barrels a day. And so we're excited. It's a largest U.S. refining expansion in almost a decade, and it's happening right here in Southeast Texas. And Rosina, we're still on pace to get operational use by Q1 2023? Yes, we are, and we're pretty excited about it in our workforce as well. Well, fantastic. Yeah, the last time we were here, we are talking with Gene Weber, and it was the summer of 2021, and I believe uh, you know, engineering and procurement had kind of wrapped up. We started to put equipment in place. So construction is happening and again, still hit to hit that Q1 target. So, yeah, great. absolutely. Q1 23. Stepping back, Rosina, why did ExxonMobil make this investment in Blade? ExxonMobil fully recognized that higher fuel prices is impacting everyone. And what makes me proud is we're wanting to be a part of the solution and a part of bringing on additional diesel supply to help with our actual customers uh, with more affordable and reliable products. U.S. refining capacity is a focus uh, for us as a country and us bringing on an additional 250,000 barrels a day is going to increase ExxonMobil's U.S. Gulf Coast capacity by 17%. This is a medium-sized refinery that we have right here inside of Southeast Texas. It's unbelievable, Rosanna, to see it live and see it uh, in person is just something different than a uh, photo. So totally appreciate you having us out. Let's talk about the scope of the project mm -hmm. and kind of what's been unique to Blade here over the past three years. Not too many people have been responsible for a project during COVID. Yes. <laughs> So Beaumont yeah. Refinery Expansion and locally known here as Blade is really taking the 250,000 barrels a day. So it brings on a third crude unit to our facility. This is where we're taking uh, Permian Basin crude from out in West Texas, bringing it into this third crude unit using our hydro treating facilities to make more diesel production. And this is gonna be great for the community. It's gonna be great for customers and families everywhere. And so, Rosina, a little bit more about the uniqueness of this project. Incredible how things were brought in primarily from the dock off of Port Natchez, is that yeah. correct? Also, the modular units. Can you expand a little bit about that, of uh, sort of how this, this plant's come together so far? Yes, and I, I definitely want to make sure you understand the port of Beaumont have yeah. been absolutely phenomenal. We brought in 16 process um, modules units here, over 25,000 metric tons. And we've been able to take this heavy equipment, bring it up the Natchez River, and being able to put it at our local dock here, it's called a roll on, roll off type of dock, mm -hmm. right here near the project site. And that's been incredibly important for the neighbors in our community and minimizing the impact. I do wanna go back and reinforce, uh, we did make this uh, investment through a pandemic uh, and a time when many were actually, I say stepping back, ExxonMobil continue to invest in this project uh, despite having the pandemic and also an economic downturn. And so we've been incredibly proud for us being part of that solution. And we're saying about 1600 contractors on site after Blade is up and running and operational use takes place, about how many permanent roles will be, uh, will be here at Blade? We're so. very excited. Yeah. It's gonna be adding on 40 to 60 new permanent jobs here. ExxonMobil area operations generate one in seven jobs in the, this region. And so it's pretty exciting to see what permanent impact we're having, as well as additional job roles it creates as well. Rosanna, we're just so glad, lucky to be here. Thank you for having us on site. Um, you know, you've had a career of 23 years or more with Exxon. You know, uh, what, what have you learned from this? What has been some key takeaways from this experience so far? Yes, uh, for ExxonMobil, having that long-term growth strategy, one to where you can see, even inside of a pandemic, continuing to invest, increasing diesel supply, additional 250,000 barrels a day, being able to do that because they knew that the demand would recover. 
And so when we can see that high fuel prices are impacting everyone, being able to look at that demand, that demand is recovering, supply is tight, and we're here as part of the solution of adding on more supply, and we're so happy to be a part of it. Our workforce is very happy to actually have this Blade Refinery expansion, and that we're part of the solution, not only for our nation, but the broader global economy as well with the demands that everyone needs. Rosina, I just want to say thank you so much for having out, having us out. Appreciate your time and uh, look forward to see the project wrap up. Absolutely. First quarter 23, we're pretty excited about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy.